Good morning, wonderful people. Good day, good afternoon, wherever you're listening from. I want to go into something very profound, very interesting. It's a, it's a technique, actually. And um, if you help people in any way, if you have a friend who comes to complain to you about anything, or you're a coach, or anybody of that sort, this is going to revolutionize this knowledge that i'm about to tell you is going to revolutionize the way you help them it's also going to open up the window in your mind for you to understand yourself more and also know who people are okay so here goes anytime someone comes to you to complain about someone else are about a situation could be a situation on the job or anything whatsoever you can know who that person is exactly by what they say they are not getting from the other person or from the other situation or from the job or from whatever so here goes um, if a person comes to complain about their partner, they said, okay, well, he doesn't support me. He doesn't support me. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. I feel like I'm doing everything. He doesn't support me. I don't find any support from him. Um, so you, that's what they're complaining about. So you said to yourself, you, the one question to ask a person is, Okay, so what you're missing in, if I hear properly what you say, you're missing support. Yes. At this moment, understand one thing. The thing that that person is missing in the rela relationship is exactly what that person is not giving. Now, this sounds very hard to believe because... All the evidence might be pointing to the fact that this person is giving in the relationship, doing everything, doing everything, but the other one doesn't do anything. So, of course, it is the other one who doesn't support, but it's not true. Ask, for example, why do you give in the relationship? Why do you do things for him then if he's not giving you any support? And... When you get to the nitty gritty of the intention behind why that person give, you will see it's not because of support. It will be because of something else, manipulation maybe. And so they give because of manipulation. They don't support. And so they don't get support in return. So here's how you know the person. You see that thing that they complain about that they're not getting is exactly what they are not giving. So this is how you know who people are. The thing that they say that they are not getting from any kind of relationship and everything is a relationship. You have relationship with your kids, you have relationship with your spouse, you have relationship with your job, you have relationship with the people in your job, you have relationship with the building that you live, you have relationship with the environment that you are, you have relationship with the street that you live in, you have relationship with your garden, everything is a relationship. Anything that they are missing from any of these relationships is exactly what they are not giving this is how you know who people are and even when their physical action is showing you that they are giving it giving it they are not giving it because the the intention behind that giving is not the support that they say they are missing universal law always work always work they don't lie they always work to the point if you are giving support, you will always get support. If you're giving love, you will always get love. Giving is giving to oneself. It's not different. It's not giving to somebody else. So anything that is missing in a situation or a relationship 
is exactly what you are not given. This is how you know who people are. Listen to what they complain about. And go to the intention behind what they do in a relationship. And you will see. Now, trauma can jeopardize the way you give. Let's say a person who, in a relationship who miss support from their partner, but they're the one doing everything. And you look in the intention behind their doing, and then you realize that their intention is hijacked by their trauma. They don't feel like they're enough, so they do things to be enough in the eyes of the other person. They're not doing things to support the other person. They're doing things to feel enough. It's a coping mechanism what they do. They're not doing it to support. So they're complaining that the person doesn't support them. But in fact, they don't support the person either. They are working from their trauma. They're working from their um, feeling of inadequacy. That is not support. And therefore, they don't get support because they don't give support. And this is how you know who people are. I wish I could explain it simpler. I hope you understand it. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.